But before I invest, I need you to outline your stance on the rule of law. We comply with the law. We have a fantastic general counsel and we have more lawyers than our competitors. What more is there to say? We're not talking about compliance here. It's not just about rules or law. The rule of law exists where you find four basic things. Certainty and predictability, fairness, enforceability and availability of redress, level playing fields. That seems blatantly obvious. I can't see the connection with the rule of law or how it affects our business. What about when your plant was expropriated by the state in Venezuela? Or your litigation against suppliers in India, nine years and counting and still no hearing. Or that deal in Russia where you upset the authorities and they froze you out. The investors were not happy. Look, that was just a bad run. I don't think investors would regard it as a bad run. They see it as a blind spot. Rule of law could make or break a business. So this is all about emerging markets? No. Remember the pasting you got from that Westminster Parliamentary Committee on your government contracts? I'd rather not. I wasn't given a fair chance to defend myself. No. So you need to build rule of law capacity everywhere, even in your home country. OK, fine. So we'll just get some advice. Who does this sort of thing? I'd think twice about turning up at your next board meeting and telling the directors that an outside consultant is leading this. They expect you to be all over it. I suggest getting your risk register out and pointing to likely areas such as enforceability of contracts, corruption, supply chain integrity. Our supply chain is fine. We already have tight codes of conduct and a zero tolerance policy. If your suppliers in Indonesia are found to exploit children, a simple code of conduct won't carry much weight. You've got to build rule of law capacity, not just tell people how well behaved you are. I just need results to take to the shareholders. Rule of law really isn't one of my KPIs. Really not. But you have a risk register with rule of law issues running right through it. Lord Overview is bound to ask you for a memo on this. Are you just going to send a note saying you're too busy to devote time to promoting fairer business? I can just appoint a champion to guard the interests of the company. These issues are too big. What can the board of one company do? No one can do much on their own. But if you work with other businesses, you have leverage that government will have to think about. You can even join a group which is already doing this. The Bingham Centre Business Network would be a great place to start. OK, I'm in. Is the membership fee tax deductible? <laughs>